Well, I'm finally going to get back to doing uh, my low development testing for the 6.5 Swedish Mauser. Now I came up with a new load with this Hornet 8 bullet using a new powder, tried it out, got real good results. So now we're going to take the rifle out and try it out with this here. This is my Hornet 840 grain uh, load. I have also as a comparison same thing, same brass primer nap, but with the PPU 139 grain full metal jacket, which is a little bit uh, less in price, like say four cents, five cents. Also, I still have a box of some 130 grain soft point uh, ammo that I'm going to run also. Then, just for a comparison, I do have some of the other powder I used, another load I developed before with the PPU bullet. So that's what I'm going to run these four different cartridges up on the targets and we're going to go take a look. And of course some. Alright, we're going to run this in my uh, long rifle. So we're going to put five down there uh, with the Hornet A bullet. Alright, next up is five with the uh, PPU bullet. Okay, up next is a 131 grain soft point bullet.
Okay, now I'm going to run the PPU bullet with the old uh, powder and load that I developed a while back. Alright, we're probably going to go down and check out the targets here in a minute and I'll show you the four different strings. Okay, that's our target with the uh, Hornaday bullet. Not that impressive. Okay, but we switch it over to the lower cost PPU bullet and we got a winner. Four shots right there. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, that's our commercial ammo, not terrible, shoots a little low, was a lighter charge. Now, the PPU bullet with the different powder gave those results, which is not too terrible, but is not anything like this. So you see, you have to experiment, find the right combination of powder, bullets, and everything else to get this type of accuracy, and I found it by accident. 